If you've been looking for a better way to handle your security information, you've just found it. Protection One offers you a complete e-suite of online tools. E-suite services make your security investment work harder by providing exactly the information you need to make your security program happen proactively. Instead of just reacting to events, you can make informed decisions using your security data as a guide. Let me tell you about it. First, you can choose the level of service you need. Do you want to simply manage your location contact information to remote panel code management? Easy. Do you want to create custom exception reporting and receive the notifications? We let you do that without pouring through mountains of data. I'll explain more starting with our basic offering, One Data Manager Primary. One Data Manager Primary allows you to see your enrolled site locations, make contact edits, payments, and even manage user permissions. It's easy. One Data Manager Primary gives you the basic data information you need to easily monitor and manage your site activity in real time. Think of the difference that can make each day. Let's give it a try. When you log into eSuite, the first screen is the Sites page. It's very intuitive. This page shows site locations that your username and password permissions allow you to access. If you only have one site, your first screen will be your site detail page. It looks like this. You can sort your list of sites by clicking on the field name, or narrow down the list of sites that appear by clicking on any of the funnel icons. These icons filter your list using all or part of the value contained in the field shown. Watch how we have highlighted the example. Now, let's talk about site options. To edit site information, click on the magnifying glass icon to the left of the site, which will take you to the Site Options tab. The Site Options tab lets you edit a number of site-specific sets of information. This depends on your user authority level. The Contact Information page shows notification contacts. These are the people who are notified in the case of a site alarm or event. They also show a Do Not Notify list. Contacts on the Do Not Notify list have site-level permissions but would not be notified in the event of a site alarm. To edit a site contact, click on the magnifying glass icon to the left of the contact name. This takes you to the View page. To edit, click Edit Contact. To delete a site contact, click on the trash can icon to the left of the contact name. To add a contact for a site, click Add a contact and indicate their contact type and telephone number and then click Next. Now fill in the contact's first and last name, authority level, and relation to the site. Next, type in the new user PIN. The PIN is this contact's personal ID number they will use when contacted by Protection One to identify themselves as an authorized person at your site. This PIN can also be a word. Now indicate whether or not this person is a key holder and their start and end date as a site contact. The end date field may be left blank. Under Site Update Options, choose whether this new contact will be applied to this site only or to all of your sites. Click Next. On the next page, Phone Information, enter any alternative phone numbers for this contact and then click Finish. You can click, drag, and drop your contacts to update your contact list in real time. The Event History tab lets you run a view-only report showing any signal activity that has taken place at a site within your indicated time frame. This is a great feature that allows you to look back and make sense out of your data. Your Zones screen show what devices are assigned to each zone in a panel. Devices assigned to each zone are programmed at the site panel level. These are not edited through eSuite. The Insurance Certificate tab will allow you to print or email a certificate indicating that your site has a monitored alarm system. This may be required by your site insurance company. Again, we make it easy. In the Report Equipment Problem tab, you may request to be called about an equipment problem at the site indicated. State the name and telephone number of the person to be contacted, as well as a description of the problem. A Protection One representative will call within two hours. In the View Service Requests tab, you can view the status of past and pending service calls at a site. You can sort or filter by all or part of the text within any of the indicated fields. 
The billing and payment history window will show all account billing history for all sites and lets you view specific details for each charge while having the ability to export the billing history. This allows information to be exported in your preferred format. This allows more sorting options along with the ability to print. In the My Profile window, you can edit and update your user information, easily update your password, and reset your security reminder questions. In the Manage Users window, the account administrator can create, edit, and delete the permissions of eSuite users. This feature lets you make instant changes and put them into action immediately. Call us to learn more. If you want a tighter, easier, better managed security program, the answers are in your data. Protection One makes sure that your data is always easily accessible. We turn mountains of information into action plans with just a few clicks on a few screens. eSuite is a great example of how Protection One innovation makes administering and managing your security easier.